Hey man, say man, what's good, y'all? Big K here coming at y'all with another video, man. And I know this probably man, I've been I've been gone for a little minute. I know y'all haven't heard me in a minute. Last thing I did was my little BBL Drizzy challenge, which did not do uh how the numbers I wanted to do. But I was like I was like five days late. I had to work and stuff. So I couldn't really just uh make it. But anyways, that was funny. I got I got a, a breakdown coming down on that too. Because I know a lot of people probably think with my BBL jersey, people probably think I don't like Drake or something. But no, nah, it was really just, even in the song, I even said, like, nigga, I just want the free Metro beat. You feel me? Like, I'm just bullshit. But, like, I'm actually going to do a breakdown on that. Because um, I feel like my take is going to actually be pretty interesting on that. Because I don't think a lot of people are going to really look at it how I look at it. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about ESPN. And as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, it's the problem with ESPN, man. So as y'all know, ESPN, the S obviously stands for sports. However, these past few years, man, if you would told me the S stands for slander, I'm with you on that. You feel me? That's all I've been seeing. We we we've been getting this is funny because we get a lot, we're getting a lot of black analysts, which is good. But now you can tell that these black analysts are black puppet analysts who are. Yeah, you're there, but you still got to follow the agenda given to you. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of obvious at this point. So the main people that I really have an issue with is definitely this nigga, Kendrick Perkins. Even though, and it's sad because Kendrick Perkins is, bro, Kendrick Perkins is that Celtics team. That's one of my favorite teams of all time. Not even trying to be funny, but like, Perk, bro. You, you, I ain't going to beat you. He's been getting on my nerves for a little minute. I really got to get on you. Then you, you got the girl, what's her name? Malika, who everyone hates her. But honestly, I don't even really care about that. But it, and then you also got Shaquille O'Neal, Stephen A. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get on all them. But I do Shaq. I'm getting on Shaq for this. Even though I, I fuck with Shaq, but there's one thing I gotta mention that Shaq did, and I'm I'm gonna see if I can find it too. Before we even get into that though, what I want to say is why I have a problem with ESPN is because it's, like I said, it's obvious, man, that this S they're trying to make this turn this S from sports to slander, man. This is it's nothing but news. And BS, and it's, has, it's not really sports related. I mean, it is sports related, but it's like, it's more. All right, so let's let's, let's talk about it like this, right? Last year, um, during the MVP race, it was a close call between Jokic, Giannis, and Embiid. And all of them were all doing pretty good. You feel me? Jokic was uh, averaging or close to averaging another triple double. He was like averaging like 28. 10 and 9 or something. He was real close to averaging a triple double. And B was um he led the league in his uh average points per game, PPG. And then Giannis is Giannis, you know what I'm saying? Giannis is really just a uh, he's Giannis, you know what I mean? But so now that's why I have an issue because now you have people like Kendrick Perkins who are crying at the fact Jokic is winning. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, Oh, I think Jokic shouldn't be winning. You get what I'm saying? Embiid should be winning. And they and they the ones starting this little weird, weird like you know what I mean. They made they made it racial. They made it weird, and they did it live. You get what I'm saying? They used their influence to perpetuate some weird stuff, and that's what I didn't really like. Embiid did, like I said, Embiid did in fact win that MVP due to. I don't even. I feel like he won, because, bro, because they was crying. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, he he deserved it, but like it was still like, bro. I don't think y'all should just discredit Jokic. You know what I mean? Just be all like, oh, he shouldn't win it. Bro should win it. And I felt like that was pretty weird on his behalf. So now, this year, we have him. He's he's criticizing Johnny. That's a Johnny. <laughs> he's criticizing Bronny because he thinks Bronny is a bust. He thinks, oh, Bronny's going to be drafted second round. He's like, we ain't never sat on here and talked about no second round player before. And that's where... That's why I'm trying to tell y'all this S is definitely for for slander, man. Because let, let's not forget the three-time MVP, reigning MVP, the man who just was announced MVP was drafted in the second round during a Taco Bell commercial. You get what I'm saying? So, like, Kendrick Perkins, you sound stupid. You get what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, why are these the people doing doing the sports analytics when you literally all they're doing is slandering and and being emotional, you get what I'm saying. That has no, like, where's the analytics? Where's the where you get? Where's the facts? Where what, what is going on with ESPN? ESPN, obviously, they're the ones behind this. You get what I'm saying? 
And that's why I'm saying the problem is with ESPN. For example, like Malika, everyone hates her because, for example, she did the little Missoula, uh, Eme. Like, she's always coming at the black people. She's always slandering them for the things they did, Cam Newton. And it's like, why Why is that? But that's the thing. That's not... She's a puppet. You get what I'm saying? That's why I have issues. Because now you got ESPN putting the black faces. This is the new... This is blackface, in my opinion. Kendrick Perkins, this is blackface. You get what I'm saying? You up here saying what they want you to say, bro. You acting like you... Just because... I mean, don't be wrong. You're an NBA champion and you have... You have credentials, you get what I'm saying? You have a resume, but the thing is, what is this, go? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I never expected, even that, that whole Jokic thing he pulled last year caught me off guard. Because I'm like, bro, what what does that even matter to you for? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just so weird to me. And so, that's why I pretty much have an issue with ESPN. I have an issue with all this stuff they're doing. And now, let me get on Shaq. Actually, you know what? Let's Let's watch this first. Let's watch this first. So I can show y'all where, where I'm coming from. Hi, this is Charles Sabanson. and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I would see them today. We got a hell of a show for you guys, full of fireworks. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a goal of trying to hit 200,000 subs by the end of this month. So really appreciate it. Hey, shout out, bro, but nigga, them enhancements, nigga. <laughs> I don't think we don't see them enhancements, gangy. Whoa. That whole line look fake. <laughs> hey, but nah, shout out, bro, though. Shout out, bro. He going crazy. But nigga. Yeah, they, they definitely sauced you up, boy. <laughs> if you guys helped us and hit our goal. Anyway, let me get into this topic here. Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Bronny James. We, we seldom do it, but today, uh, we're going to talk about it. And this video was prompted. Also, I'm sorry I keep stopping it. But another thing I want to say about Bronny. I think Bronny really going to be like that. I know a lot of people want to see him fail, Kendrick Perkins included. A lot of people want to see him not make it. They're they're judging him based off his college stats and all that, which is which is fair. You get what I'm saying? Like your dad didn't go to college and you you putting up G League stats in college is kind of crazy. But you got to remember he's undersized. He's he's like what six inches shorter than his dad. You know what I mean? Like he's 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 not the same as his dad. That's why I hate when people compare him to him. I feel like what Bronny's gonna play his role. He's gonna be like a Josh Hart, bro. Like because what a lot of people don't realize, Bronny, for being six one, his vertical is really impressive. He has ups. He's really athletic. He's you know what I mean he's a, he's he's a big body too. You feel me? He's two like two ten at six one is crazy. That's actually that's big body status. I don't even think Wimby's two ten, which is crazy. But like he's 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 definitely gonna be a big body role. I feel like them saying he don't have no place in the NBA. People like that are just, they're literally just hating, bro. Honestly, I feel like, he, nigga, if TJ McConnell, and I'm not even dissing TJ McConnell, but I'm saying like, how do y'all, I hate when people do that. They, they be sitting on niggas like Bronny, but you got to remember, there's people like that in the league. You get what I'm saying? TJ McConnell, he's good. TJ McConnell's good, but I'm just saying like, Bronny's better than him. Um, There's a lot of people in the league that I could say that Bronny's better than, if I'm being honest with you. A lot of people fucking... Bruce Brown, even though I fuck with Bruce Brown heavy, but I'm saying it's a lot of people that I think Bronny is better than right now. So for them to say he has no place in this league is definitely people hate him. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead. Let's get back into this though. By a clip that I saw earlier this morning that involved Mark Spears basically going on ESPN and explaining what some NBA scouts told him about Bronny James's prospects as an NBA player. Well, on that panel, Kendrick Perkins was also on that panel as well. I think Ramona Shelburne was on that panel as well, and I forgot who else was on the panel. But they were discussing, uh, you know, um, Bronny James as an NBA player. So as they were talking, you could see that Kendrick Perkins started to get visibly annoyed. And as the conversation went on, he kept on getting more agitated. And then at a certain point, he's like, listen, um, the only reason... We are up here talking about Bronny James is because he's LeBron's son. And he said that, look, I feel like we're doing a disservice to other players that are more deserving of the attention to just sit here and talk. See, and let, let me just explain why. That's why Kendrick Perkins is lame, bro. That is lame. At the end of the day, you're, see, it's these little narratives that they're creating. Like, at the end of the day, 
Nobody said you didn't have to talk about nobody but Bronny. You get what I'm saying? Like, he is the only one creating these fake narratives, man. Even another thing I want to add, too, is... So, I'm from Ohio, you feel me? And I'm a, I'm a Cavs fan, you get what I'm saying? Just because that's where I'm from. But Kendrick Perkins, even earlier this year, came out and said, Oh, the Cavs need to get rid of Donovan Mitchell. He's in Darius Garland's way. That's how the fans feel. Lame ass nigga, who who felt like that? Who who said that? Who went bro? They me five Cav fans that said we rather have Darius Garland rather than Donovan Mitchell. We never said that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get why Kendrick Perkins feels like he can use his platform to say bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's because ESPN is letting the lame ass nigga do that. You feel me? And that's why I don't really like it, bro. ESPN, everybody really, it's a whole lot of lame shit going on, but Kendrick Perkins is a lame-ass nigga for real. Talk about Bronny James when there are other players that have greater prospects. And then got into this back and forth, and essentially Ramona Shelburne and these guys were basically arguing for the right to talk about Bronny James because, hey, listen, it makes a lot of money. That's the only other reason I can think of them doing it, right? And it got into this pretty, pretty... um you know, awkward, awkward back and forth. But Kendrick Perkins was essentially calling out ESPN and a lot of these major networks for basically doing this. He's like, y'all know that he's not good enough, but nevertheless, we spend every single waking hour uh, talking about him. And if it wasn't for LeBron James, who's his father, we would not be discussing him if he had another name on the back of his jersey. And it got into this pretty, pretty, uh, 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 you know, um, not heated, but kind of a little bit contested uh, back and forth but before we even get into that this video is brought to you by brand new sponsor game time who's the official sponsor of today's show game time tickets is an authorized ticket all right come on gang see look, this this how he this how he fund that hairline right here <laughs> that nigga came straight from turkey <laughs> play the full commentary from kendrick perkins on this topic and i'm going to come back and react to what he has to say take a listen to what kendrick perkins had to say here when I'm looking at Bronny, do I think he could be a pro? Absolutely. He's going to he's gonna be a role player as a professional. That's okay. I could see his ceiling if he reaches ceiling of being an Eric Bledsoe type player, but that's in years to come. It's going to be a development process. He's going to have to go to the right organization yeah. that's going to be willing to be patient with him. But at the end of the day, right, we're talking about Bronny. And my thing is, I want him to write his own book. And I didn't like when LeBron showed up to the draft combine for the simple fact that if you're trying to detach yourself from him, then you don't show up. You let him have his moment. Look, here's what I liked. I like that we finally heard from Bronny. I know you did like the first interview with Bronny a couple of years ago at the combine up there, or the, 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 Hoop the, Summit. the Who Summit up in Portland. Um, but we have not heard that much from him in his own voice, in his own words. I actually like that he said, that's my dad's dream to play together. Like, I like, I like that he addressed that, that he knows that where, exactly how he, where he stands. Because until this, we've kind of just seen him post on Instagram. Like, we've seen highlight videos, but he has not spoken for himself all that much. And so I think that's a, a, a good sign. I think what I'm hearing, look, he's not a Nepo baby, okay? That's what you're basically saying. Like, he's, he, he's, he got a legitimate NBA player. Now, is he a starter? Is he an all-star? Not at this point in his development. Can he can he get a two-way contract someplace? Is that the best path for him? I don't know. I mean, I, and I think that's where the the fact they had a coaching change at USC, that he's in the draft, that he yeah. kind of lost some of his offseason and this season because of his health issues. That's where the, but you, he needs some more time to bake, clearly. But where is the best time for him to bake? Is it in the NBA on a roster where people are invested in his development? <laughs> or... Is it in a college where he has another coach that he feels comfortable with? You can only make this decision once, right? And I also asked the scouts, does him going back to college improve his draft stock? One of the scouts said, yeah. I do think in four years or after four years, he's a legitimate NBA player. The other one said, no, I just see him as an old senior. Hey, so. Look, let me say this. Yeah. We have to stop. We have to stop. As the media and everybody else shining the light on, on Bronny because... It's other players that are deserving, that deserve our attention. Who? You know what I'm saying? Say it then. You know, that's why I don't like Kendrick Perkins, bro. He's on here paying a narrative. Oh, man, it's other people we could be talking about. We don't got to be talking about. Well, nigga, talk about him then. You the media, nigga. Like, what is you talking about, bro? That's why I be saying, like, bro, this nigga Kendrick Perkins, he know what he doing, bro. He, he always doing some lame shit, bro.
And it's because ESPN, that's the, the role they gave him, bro. That's the role they gave Malika. That's the role they gave Shaq, Stephen A., fucking Shannon Sharp. Now, bro, now he, he Shannon Sharp then graduated. He, he was the first one. Now you've seen what he done. He done with the sla Shay Shay, and that's literally nothing but black slander. You get what I'm saying? So, like, come on now. We we know what's going on, bro. And now, let me, let me, um, we're going we're gonna to play the end of this, and I'm going to play out what Shaq lame ass did. That I, it really didn't sit right with me, but hold on. Right, the lottery guys, the guys that are actually like going, yeah, that are going to get drafted in the first round. Like, we're talking about a guy, a young man, that's possibly going to go late second round yeah. or not getting drafted at all. That it, I've never, in my four years of working here, I've never sat on the table where we're talking okay. about a second round pick. But this is LeBron. But you did, though. Yo, Kitch, you were so jealous that a second round pick was the best in the league that you went and cried and made it a race thing. Just so that lame ass MB could win. And you see where MB is sitting right now? At the crib. Where Jokic at? About to about to go get about to get his second. That's why I be saying, like, bro, what why why is ESPN slander over over statistics and, and facts? You know what I mean? Like this, this ESPN has become just literally bro. All right, now now let's go ahead. Let me show y'all what Shaq lame ass did, bro. All right, right here, right here, right here. I don't like to rain on people's parade, but I'm not happy with this one. Congratulations to Joker. You are the best bad, big man in the league, but based on everybody's criteria, my criteria, stats, that stuffer, you guys' criteria, number one seed, which team has a better record, I felt Shea Alexander deserved it because I've been – I've been number two a lot. When I played my ass off, number two. So the fact that he has to start all over next year and try to win it again, I, I, I think it was, I, I, I know that's going to be hurtful for him. Hopefully he uses this to motivate him to win a championship. But I thought, and again, no disrespect to the Joker, best big man in the league by far. Well, uh, he this is lame too, but he, he actually told, here, go right here. Joker, as the president of the Big Man Alliance, you are the vice president of the Big Man Alliance. Uh, you know I love you, the best player in the league. I want to congratulate you, but I want you to hear from me first. I thought the SGA should have been the MVP. That's no. That's uh, it, uh, no disrespect to you. That's no disrespect. That's a thousand percent disrespect. What are you, man? Give, give, yo, bro. That's what. This is lame. I ain't gonna beat you. When I seen this, I was so, I was heated. He tried to pull the Kanye. They even said that in the comments. He tried to do the, uh, and I just, I didn't like it. And here's the reason why I didn't like it. Anybody that says, don't give me, I'm not saying SGA is a bad hooper and SGA had a bad season. SGA is not the MVP of the league, bro. Anybody, like, bro, Jokic is beating LeBron. You get what I'm saying? Jokic is sweeping goats. This SGA is just, he's just getting 30 points a game. You get what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, it's impressive to get 30 points a game. But the thing is, that don't mean you better than anybody. You get what I'm saying? Or that don't mean you better, because you're not doing much, much for your team, bro. All you really doing is getting 30 points. And that's why I hate, because people, think about them James Harden MVPs. Think about them, them Westbrook MVPs, where it was like, bro, y'all niggas is literally, y'all not the MVP of the league. Y'all is just getting stats. And that's why I feel like with SGA, People are letting this shit get to his head, have him thinking he's the best in the league. You're not better than Ant-Man, for one. You're not better than Ja Morant. Like, this was, I ain't going to beat you. If SGA really want to get an MVP, he going to have to, he going to have to take it from them. Like, Ja Morant, SG, or not SG, I'm sorry, Ja Morant, uh, Ant, all these, these young niggas. I, I ain't going to beat you. I think it's a lot of people that are way better than him. It's just because they don't. They're on different organizations. And it's like that. I think the fact that you're on Thunder, a Thunder with nobody, you're able to go for 30 a night. You know what I mean? But that don't, I don't think that makes means you're doing the best for your team. Yes, y'all had the one seed and all that, but still, bro, I do not think SGA does more for his team than Jokic. The Denver Nuggets are the worst organization. Damn near was the worst organization ever, bro. 
next to like the Bucks. That's why I feel like Giannis and them like they really deserve their MVPs, bro. Because it's like, bro, we 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 carried organizations. I don't think SGA is that good. For example, and another thing I'll say too, SGA. If you really watch his game, bro, or, or if you even just bet on him, bro, you really like SGA is not as polished as they make you think. Like he'd be lucky to make one three. Like, I ain't going to beat you for a guard to be lucky to make one three. I'm sorry, bro, but you, you're you definitely not the MVP of this league. You're a guard, bro. I'm not even, I'm not saying you have to shoot the three ball, but in 2024, the guards should be shooting the three ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should not, you should not should be lucky for you to make one three. And then another thing, too, they're like, oh, well, he leads points rebound, or he's like second or third in points rebound assist. That's all off points. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's that 30 point that makes it look like, bro, this dude is not, he don't get assists or rebounds. I guess, I know he, he's tried this year, but like, bro, we just bet on him. Y'all will see for yourself, bro. He do not do nothing besides get his 30 points, bro. I really don't like SGA's game. He has no bag. Jokic has multiple bags, and he's good at defense. SGA's great at defense, too, though. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. SGA, he might actually, he might be better at defense than offense. I ain't gonna cap. SGA is a great defender. I will say that, but... Still, though, I don't think the little praise they give him, I don't think he deserves that praise because it's just like, man, Jokic is really that nigga. Like, Giannis really that nigga. Like, MB, MB that nigga too. But I don't even think, MB, he he still don't got that mentality like Giannis and them. Like, he's not he's not on their level, bro. He, you just be going home too much, bro. You had James Harden last year. Like, he's had teams. Like, that's why I, I be trying to tell you. Like, that's what makes Jokic and them. So crazy, like, Jokic really made his team. And I feel like if SGA does get a, a, a ring this year, which he's not, that would up his, that would make him look like he should have won. But y'all going to see, bro. SGA has no bag, and I'm sorry, bro. But Anyways, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think ESPN out here tripping? Y'all think the S, they trying to change the S to slander. They trying to take away from sports, man. They, they, who knows, man. But anyways, man, appreciate y'all for, uh, how much I got? Let's check. 227. Shout out y'all for two, 227 subscribers. That's actually, I love y'all for that, man. Y'all keep going crazy for me. Give me the 250. And we out of here.